adverse childhood experiences or ACEs. Okay, that's the big term these days. We, we Kevin and I just refer to it as trauma. And we want this trauma-informed act matrix to uh, inform educators how they can support and teach and respond to students who experience either the effects of trauma or who may even be manifesting the behaviors that are related to trauma. Uh, so to do this the way that we would do it, we begin to introduce the role of this little part of the brain called the amygdala. So uh, I have my handy dandy beginning diagram here. That's one half of the matrix. Which is just the vertical line. <laughs> the vertical line. At the top, we ha I have the word senses, which is information flows into us through the five senses. Think of, think of it flowing in this way, and that's time zero. And it's going down. So this we could even say, I'll even put it here. This is time. Let's put this on the side. So right at the top is senses, and right before they hit, something hits the senses, the clock at zero. Yeah. And now the stopwatch starts the to tell. Stopwatch is at zero. Right. And once something hits the senses, click. It's begun. It's begun. We are, we are perceiving. Mm -hmm. We are sensing things, right? Yep. So when it comes to this thing of trauma, Trauma is really related to the amygdala. Um, and that's what we're going to start to kind of talk with them about, about you're, you know, going to be teaching or working with a group of students who may or may not have had some traumatic experiences. So from the point of view of our diagram here, we're going to be looking at this from where this response to trauma originates. And it really originates uh, from that region of the brain called the amygdala. So next thing we would do is I would just go ahead and write the word amygdala right in here, right below 